We need oil to lubricate our engines. But can we continue producing it, knowing our resources are finite? Significant energy is consumed in the process of finding, drilling, and shipping of oil to destinations everywhere. To refineries, where machines, chemicals, and lots of energy make engine oil from crude and other usable parts. But when it reaches its destination, it does a great job lubricating in order to provide a long life for engines. And after this peak performance, this engine oil's life comes to an end, and these wonderful products are treated as waste. To give you an idea, worldwide, used oil amounts to an annual 39 billion liters. That's more than 240 million barrels. When put in a row, it would take you around the world three and a half times. Its waste is burned in huge incinerators, emitting toxins and spillage, which tests our planet's resolve, providing a brighter future for the next generation. Contaminants and broken down additives eventually reduce the oil's lubrication. These add up to 15% of the lubricant being affected by engine operations. The remaining 85% is regular, reusable base oil. In the old days, the quality of re-refining didn't come close to... New re-refining technology extracts water, metal parts, fuel, and chemicals to create base oils that are just as good as before. After this, a delicate mix of additives next-gen the right properties. So when it reaches its destination, it does a great job lubricating in order to provide a long life for engines. After that, recycled oil gets another life, and another, and another. Clean doesn't drill, unlike the big oil companies. We buy the best quality base oil available and convert it into the best engine oils on the market. Now we use recycled oil and do exactly the same. So next-gen engine oil, which contains 50% recycled oil, has the same properties as the oil you are using today.